Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. And this is, this is the air I breathe. This is the Let's start from the beginning. This is it. This is This is the air I breathe. Thank you, Jesus. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. Oh God. You are my daily bread. Everybody say with me, it's in the name of Jesus. My Father, you are good to me. You are kind to me. You love to bless me. You love to give to me. You love to elevate me. You have nothing against me. You want to see me flourish. You've made everything ready for me to flourish. I receive your free gifts. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You can have your seats. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's really, it's really great to be here and to be great to, to be in this service. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. It's really great to be here. So, in the previous services, I took time to minister in the beginning, you know, because I know that most likely at the end we'll be in a hurry to leave, you know, for the service. But in this service, I'm going to take time to teach. Then we'll minister at the end for people that need the opportunity to minister. Praise the Lord. I came with two of our leaders from the Lekki Church, our singles leader. I came with Yele and Chisum. Will you stand quickly? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to thank all of our leaders that are doing exceptional work, all of our pastors, Pastor Dijilawa, Pastor Dami, you know, Pastor Maker James, and uh, just all those people doing amazing, amazing things here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Where's Shola? Shola, come. Shola, come quickly. You know, Shola ran for counselorship in, um, in uh, Ogudu, Ogudu, you know, and he, he tried. Yes, he did very well. So he did very well. So just let you know. So next time you see his picture, vote for him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you say why, because I said so. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I want to also thank um, all the music team. You know, all of you musicians, just come. Some of you, I know person, just come, all of you. Frank, come. You, you real. Yuzel, are you there? Jump out and come here. Frank, come here. You know, just to literally appreciate, just a lot of people that are going to appreciate today. You know, what's it? 
Vic- victory, victory, very nice victory. I like you, you know. And you know, all of our musicians, thank you for all what you guys do, you know. You know, some of them have been here for donkey years. GBAs, how long have you been here for? 15 years. 15 years. I'm telling you. So, Junior, what? Junior, come. You know why we call him Junior? Because he started playing as a junior. What age did he start playing? 18. 18. He was 18 when he started playing. Look at him now. He's a grown man. You know, maybe he's going to get married soon. I don't know. You know what's going on in that space. You know, praise the Lord. So, really nice. Really nice. Frank. Frank is our... Um, Global head of sound, and um, he's a great guy. He's married to one of our senior worship leaders in the Kedja Church called Gina. And um, you know, you know what he did? He said, "Pastor, you're coming to Bogota today. Everything you wear is on me. So everything I wore today, Frank just provided it. You know, so he has this nice shredding and sewing company called Francon. So all of you that love style, this is the man you should go to. He made this. He made this. You know." And everybody says, Pastor, you're, you know, Pastor, you're hostile. You know, Pastor, they, Pastor, you look so good. I'm like, oh, wow, Frank made me look so good. Praise God. And you know, Frank, I love you, right? Yeah. He's a great guy. He's really a great guy. Amen. You have a lot of sun that you know that's shady. Frank is honest. You know, Frank is honest, devoted. He uh, he stays at Egbeda and sets up a next level prayer in Lekki. At no extra cost, all he needs is a phone call. No extra cost, all he needs is a phone call. Praise God. Uzel, come over here. Uzel, Uzel helps us with all of the traffic, and it's good because um, I'm going to tell them I'm going to go to Bagada for like three, um, Lekki for like three months and bring you back. You know, you know. Yuzel works with um, Lagos State government, but you, the amount of time he spends in church, you think he works in church full time. You know, I've known Yuzel since when he was eight years old, eight or six. When have I known you? Eight. eight years old. I've known him when he was eight years old. You know, I've been, I've been mentoring him spiritually. He's married. He has how many kids now? Two kids, you know. And it's going to be 40, not in too long distance from now. So I've been doing this pastor job for such a long time, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I love you, Yuzel. Thank you for all that you do behind the camera. Thank you. Thank you. you know. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we get into it today? Ready? You'll be blessed today. Or? Sure. How many of you watched online before you came? You, you watched? Hey, how was it? You were like, I'm going. I'm not watching online again. I'm going. I'm going. It was so powerful. <laughs> you know, my, my, my DMs on my Instagram are blowing up. Like, people are saying, I received this healing. I received this testimony. This happened just after the service. So, it's been really good already. All right. Let's turn our Bibles. So, um, so this month, we will talk about the Holy Spirit. And um, this particular Sunday, we want to talk about the job of the Holy Spirit in a more um, theological way. We'll call it the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So, when you look to the Bible, one of the things you will see is a common trend amongst the mighty or powerful characters in the Bible. One of the things you will notice is how they express this hopelessness that they have without the Holy Spirit. It's amazing how they express this hopelessness, starting from Jesus. Jesus Christ said in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, he told the disciples, the disciples, he had told them to win souls. He told them, he said that, hey, Do not leave Jerusalem. Although I've told you, go and do something. Don't start it. Except you first receive the Holy Spirit. Then you will see 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. Samuel the mighty prophet said, he said, he said, by by arm shall no man prevail. Then you go to Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah was speaking to, to Zerubbabel, which was like a, like a leader. And this was a top leader. He was facing a big problem. And he said, it's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the spirit. I said, this thing crossed across pastors, leaders, entrepreneurs, business leaders, car executives. Why are they so particular about the Holy Spirit? Then the one that shocked me was David. Psalm 51 verse 11. Psalm 51 verse 11. See what David said. Psalm 51 verse 11. Psalm 51 verse 11. The Bible says this. Then David said this. 
David, remember, David was not an apostle. He was not a pastor. He was not an evangelist. David was a king. He was son in the marketplace. And the reason I'm saying so is that sometimes when you come across successful men or successful women, they really say things like, you know, why do I need the Holy Spirit? Because in their mind, it's not exactly what they think. But this is a successful king. He was not just a king. He was a business leader. You know what David said? David said this, Psalm 51 verse 11. He says, David was panicking. He says, you can take the trial. You can take the money. You can take everything. He said, but cast me not away from your presence, O Lord, or take not your spirit from me. The question is this, what is it that they knew about the spirit that made them so, 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 you know, so attached, that made them so concerned, that made them to treasure the spirit more than ever before? Because if it was just about preaching, Businessmen should not care about it. A king should not care about it. David said, please, whatever it is, you can strip me of money and strip me of authority. He says, do not take the Holy Spirit from me. Then the one that blew my mind, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, walked 30 years on earth. He never did one miracle. And you know why? He never did one miracle until he had received in fullness the Holy Spirit at the Garden of Jordan. And once he received it, he was unlimited. The first thing he did was that he took water and he turned it into wine. What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit knows how to take ordinary things and make them extraordinary. Are you here? The Holy Spirit knows how to take ordinary things and make them extraordinary. He takes a business that is doing one million and he breathes upon it. And from one million, that business moves to 50 million. He takes a tube, fallopian tube. Doctor says, these tubes are useless or blocked. He takes that tube, breathes upon it. That tube has twins. Because that's what the Holy Ghost does. It's amazing because when you... Look, look, <laughs> let's look at... Exodus chapter 33 verse 15. Exodus 33 verse 15. Look at what the Bible says. The Bible says this, and this is what Moses said. They were going on the transition. They were going to leave being slaves to being um, landowners. And, and Moses said that, listen Lord, we will rather remain slaves if you have your presence than to become landowners if we don't have your presence. What did he say? He said, he said unto him, if your presence go not with us, he said, carry not us then. What is it about the Holy Spirit that these mighty saints in the Bible knew that make them treasure, camp around them. They make them so attached to the Holy Spirit that we don't today and we're so disconnected from the Holy Spirit. It's because they knew things. What did they know? They knew they were nothing. They were no one. They couldn't do anything except by the influence of the Holy Spirit. He says, we're not going to go anywhere. Someone says, I got a green card. Moses said, I don't care if I have a green card or not. If, I, if the Holy Ghost is not going, I'm not going. He says, I don't care if he loves me or not. If the Holy Ghost is not in the marriage, I'm not going. If the Holy Ghost is not in the deal, I'm not going. I'm like, how are these people thinking? My God. My God. David said, Whatever it is, cast me not away from your presence and take not your spirit from me. Why? Because the Holy Spirit knows how to take ordinary and make it extraordinary. Some people now come and say, oh, what is the Holy Spirit? Is the Holy Spirit wind? Is the Holy Spirit fire? Is the Holy Spirit a dove? Let's look at the Bible. Listen to me. You cannot, people keep confusing the simile of the Holy Spirit with the Holy Spirit. I'll give a good example. You know, just imagine Pastor Dyer's wife's birthday was yesterday. And Pastor Dyer looked at the wife after she was all dressed up for the birthday and says, you look chewable. Question, is she chewable? But that's a simile, meaning that you look very attractive to me. You look like someone I want to be with and all of those kind of things. So if you see her and say that chewable, want to eat you, that's not right. What has happened over the years is this. Certain words have been used to describe the expression, the character of the Spirit of God. And now we think the Holy Spirit is, you know, that is the Holy Spirit. So, wind was used to describe the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is not wind. Fire was used to describe the expression of the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is not fire. Dove was used to describe the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit is not a dove. 
so all of our christian logos you see people putting doves there it's it doesn't make sense because there's no dove in the bible let's look at what the holy holy spirit because it's a holy spirit wing let's see what the bible says act chapter 2 act chapter 2 Maybe in this service we'll be able to go farther. Act chapter 2 verse 1. The Bible says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound of heaven. Read the next line, please. Is the sound a rushing wind or as or like a rushing wind? Oh, that means the sound was not a rushing wind. He's, but the way it came, we look for something to compare it to. And we say it's what? Like a rushing wind. So the Holy Spirit is not wind. But sometimes when we see his expression, it comes like wind. Oh, wow. Because he says the sun came from heaven as of, he didn't even say rush. He didn't say wind. He said rushing mighty wind. He was putting a picture that what came was like was heavy, was strong. And sometimes that's why when the anointing hits people, it takes them from one layer, what one level hits them into the top level. Because sometimes it comes that heavy. And I know it's unfortunate. People that are not spiritual think the moment someone falls down and shakes, they're all demon possessed. Listen, sometimes it's not demon possession, it's just what we call the influence of the spirit. So as soon as someone is shaking, he says, hey, Jesus Christ. So this fine girl has demon. Hey, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And meanwhile, there's something just going on on the inside. So the Holy Spirit is not wing. The next verse. The next verse says this. And they appeared unto them what? Cloven tongues of what? Cloven oh, tongues of what? Is it cloven tongues that are fire? No. Like as of fire is the holy ghost fire no if they receive tongues listen if there were tongues of fire on their head it will burn their head gear it will make them bored what appeared on their head was not fire it will burn the head but when we saw it it was the nature was so was was combusting the only thing we could compare it to was fire what appeared on their head was the fire. Many of you keep saying Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Many people don't even understand the concept of what the Holy Ghost fire is. He said, proven tongues as of like as of fire. Like as of fire. So the Holy Ghost is not wind. The Holy Ghost is not fire. Some says, but it's a dove. Because he came on Jesus like a dove. Okay, let's check that out. John chapter 1 verse 32. See what the Bible says here. And John bear record saying, what did he say? I saw the spirit descending as a dove. What did he say? He said, I saw the spirit descending from heaven. He didn't even say the spirit descending like a dove. He said, the descent of the spirit was like a dove. It was not what he saw. He was talking about the descending. He was not about what descended. He was talking about the descending. English, sir. He says, I saw the spirit descending. He didn't say, I saw the spirit like as a dove. That's something else. He said, the way the spirit came on Jesus, he was like of a dove. And one thing about a dove, as gentle as what? It means the spirit came in chapter 2 it was a rushing mighty wind when they came on Jesus it was very gentle why am I telling you that sometimes when the power of God comes upon you it's mighty you shake like during the third second service I, I stepped my head they didn't know that I stepped I'm like, I, I moved I tilted a little I'm like wow you know then I got my balance and walked back to the stage I'm like oh wow you know, because I'm like, oh wow, I didn't even knew that was so powerful here. Something around 1999, I saw a vision of Jesus. Yeah, 1999, 1998, and it was around 12:38 a.m. I finished praying after that time. I was young, living with my parents, and I just finished praying. And my room in my mother's house is my bed is just towards the room, and he just walked right into the wall, through the wall, and sat on my. I, I didn't seem like physical; I saw his image. 
and sat on my bed. And from the bed, I rolled back on the floor. And I rolled back on the floor. I just began to laugh for one hour. My sister's room is just directly opposite my room. So I was like, oh my God. Everybody's going to be upset that I've woken up the whole house because I laughed uncontrollably. Sometimes, why do we have those things? Those are expressions. Those are expressions. Sometimes we just cry. Sometimes we just laugh. Sometimes we just run. It's, see, someone says, you know, you, when someone is saying, yay, my leg, it's something on the inside that is causing the leg pain. So, the same thing in the spirit, when some things happen in your spirit, it begins to show on the outside. It's called the expressions of the spirit. Are you here, somebody? And I'm saying so to you because you need to open up yourself to it. When you feel something in your leg, you behave, you allow your leg behave in a way that will, will align or else it will get worse. Hey. Why is it important to know the Holy Ghost is not wind? Why is it important the Holy Ghost is not, is not, is not rain? It's not fire. Why is it important? The reason why is this. This is the reason why. My son looks at my phone. And when my phone sees my phone, all he thinks is want to play a game. And he takes the phone because to him, my phone is the game center. I plays the game. But when he has needs, he comes to ask me. He has not come to consciousness that this is more than a phone. It can make him rich. This can pay his bills. The longer he sees the, as long as he sees this phone as what? As a game phone. All he gets is a game. Once he sees that it's more than game, it's calculator, it's internet, it's banking, I will have to put extra password, praise the Lord. You know the reason why I'm saying so? The moment you see the Holy Spirit in a limited, narrow perspective, that's all you get. But the moment you see the Holy Ghost as unlimited, as a person, it's more than fire, it's more than wind, it's more than rain, you get all of that. Because when you say the Holy Ghost is his wind, all you say is that, ooh, I felt something. I felt something. It's more than the feeling. So I said, I felt the fire. It's more than fire. Because the limit of your knowledge of the Holy Spirit will determine how much you experience of the Holy Spirit. So who is the Holy Spirit? The first thing that he's a person. Someone says, is he a person? Oh, sure, he's a person. How do I know that the Bible says so? Number one, the Bible says that when Ananias and Sapphira lied, what did Peter say? Peter said, why have you lied to what? The Holy Spirit. Can you lie to wind? Can you lie to chair? You can only lie to what? A living thing. So, for Peter to say, why have you lied to the Holy Spirit? That means the Holy Spirit is a living thing. Then the second thing that happened is this. In, in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, he says, grieve not the spirit. Grieve means he has emotions. Your chair doesn't have emotions. If you like jump on the chair, it will not complain. For something to be grieved, that means that thing has emotions. You know why it's good to know that the Holy Spirit is a person? Because once you know the Holy Spirit is a person, the next question you want to ask is this. How am I treating the Holy Spirit? But once you think he's winged, every time feel me. Every time, feel me. Every time, feel me. But once you know it's a person, I want to know you. I want to fellowship with you. And you know the thing? <laughs> once you fellowship with the Holy Spirit, oh my God. Listen to me. You can't stay in a cooking stand where they are cooking firewood. Firewood. And smoke does not rub on you. You can't stay with the Holy Ghost and know him. And power and presence does not rub on you. Because it rubs on you because you are close to him. Oh my God. Someone wave your hands and say, Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person. The beautiful thing about being a person is this. This is a beautiful thing. Brother James, come. This is a beautiful thing. Can I have um, a saxophone? Come. 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 Let's say that. I'm a businessman. And this guy, come over here, please. This guy over here is trying to attack me in business. Because, but I can handle him. You know, by call the Holy Spirit. Look at that. Power. Look at that. Don't talk about power. Look. Power. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Please see what I'm talking about. Power. You know what? When I know the Holy Spirit, will I be afraid of him? The reason why you're afraid you'll never have a child, you don't know him. 
The reason why you're afraid you never have the contract, you don't know him. Because when you know him, when you know him, and you know he's always with you, you know he's always with you. When they say that they're bidding for the contract, you know that you guys go together. Who is this person to intimidate? How can he intimidate? He, he, look, look at this. Look at this. The, are you here, somebody? Doctor said this is uncurable. You say, that's uncurable, but I got the Holy Ghost. Doctor said, you know, wow, can you help me with this? Can you help me fix this properly? Okay, can I just put it in my pocket? Is it okay that way? Wow. Can I do that? You want it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, just imagine. This is, this, this is what the doctor said. Fallopian tubules blocked. You have hepatitis B. You, you, you can't do this. You can't marry. You are delayed as a single. There's no husband for you as a man. There's no wife for you as a woman. Um, the, your, your migration papers are stalling. Uh, your approvals has not come. The contract is not working out. And this is not working out. And all this is they are saying. But you cannot handle this because you're powerless. But you have the Holy Ghost. So, the reason why you're afraid is because you don't know you have a person. You are still looking for wind. I don't look for wind, sir. Even when I don't feel wind, I know it's with me. Because the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit is a gift to me at salvation. Are you hearing me? Someone says, you will not get married. You say, I know the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I know the Holy Ghost. I know the Holy Ghost. Someone says, you don't get the job. You say, I know the Holy Ghost. He said, you get the rejection. I know the Holy Ghost. The thing about being a person is this. The more you know the Holy Spirit, the more you understand the Holy Spirit. The more you understand the Holy Spirit, the more you trust the Holy Spirit. But if all you know is wind and power, you can trust wind and power. Your faith will be strong today when you feel wind. And when you don't feel wind, your faith is no longer strong. But once you know the Holy Spirit, it doesn't matter what I feel or what I don't feel. I understand. Thank you. God bless you. So the Holy Spirit is a person with a will, with an emotion. But not only is the Holy Spirit a person, the Holy Spirit is God. I say, hey? How can you say the Holy Spirit is God? What do you call him? Holy Spirit. What is Holy Spirit? You call him so there's nothing called Holy Spirit because Spirit, the, the word adjective holy is describing the person of the Spirit. So there's, we call foul spirit. Foul spirit is a spirit that is dirty. It's not right. That's a foul spirit. The only thing we call the Holy Spirit is the description. The real name, the way the Bible calls the Holy Spirit is it, the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. Why? It is the Spirit of the Lord. So I said, those people is God. It's God. So I said, okay. So we have three gods, right? We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No, sir. We don't have three gods. We have one God in three manifestations. What does that mean? Let me explain that to you. Is this water? Yes or no? Is this water? When I put this water in the fridge, what does it become? Ice, right? When I put, if I have the ice on my right hand right now, is it still water? It's water, but in a condensed form. It doesn't change the fact that it's water, but it's water in a condensed form. If I boil this water and it's vapor, and I stir the vapor so is the vapor water also? How can you not say we have three gods? Is the ice and the water and the vapor, are they not all water? They are all water in three different expressions. So, when the water, watch this now, this is very powerful. When you see the condensed water, the water we can hold, who is that Jesus? Someone say, how is it Jesus Christ? Because it's the God that became flesh. It's the God that we can touch. It's the God that became flesh. Which one is the water that is liquid? That's the Holy Spirit flows. Which one is the favor? The Father that has never been seen before, that dwells in inapproachable in, in light, that no man can what? That no man can approach. So, do we serve three gods? We don't have three water. We have the same water. But the water manifests as what? In the, when you put 
like what am i bothered what am i worried what's going on the mountains keep like ram because you are now in the presence of the lord all of a sudden hope is lifted faith is dead wisdom is released why you are in the presence of the lord somebody say holy spirit You were so worried about getting married. And you went to service for just one and a half hours. And it even occurred to you. When they say, what do you want? You say, what do I want again? Because all of a sudden, what was so big becomes so small. Presence of the Lord. His burden over. Mm-hmm. Holy Ghost, you are brooding over every darkness. You from darkness. Listen to me. When you have presence and you walk into a negotiation, they will want to say what they want to say, but they can't talk. They will be looking at you like this. They have what to say. He's when you leave. You say, ah, um, what? so why, why didn't anybody talk here? Why? Their spirit and mind were subdued by the Holy Ghost. <laughs> have you noticed? Every time they came to just catch the question, Jesus Christ would answer them back because their question was on the human dimension, dimension three. Every time Jesus Christ gave them a question from dimension four, they could not phantom it because the spirit can always answer logic. Logic cannot answer spirit. Someone says, what's going on? You say, I have peace that surpasses understanding. This peace is like, really? Is that all you have to say? It's not a religious cliche. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a realm. It's a dimension. It's, see, there's, there's peace you have because you see what is coming. But there's peace you have that you cannot explain. That's what the Bible calls the peace that surpasses all understanding. Like your understanding cannot understand it. But you have peace. You should be troubled, but there's no need to be troubled. But you have peace. It's the peace that surpasses all understanding. They say, well, you're not even worried about the money you lost. You say, I have peace. You're not even concerned about how you're delayed. I have peace. Because there's a peace that surpasses all understanding. My God. My God. See, there's something about knowing the Holy Spirit, the assurance it brings to you. Eh? Knowing the Holy Ghost is not in my mama, mama, mama. See, it's not like in my mama. That's what I'm talking about. When you just stay. Sometimes it's not even in the talk. You can be so you can be in prayer for one hour. There's no talk. We're just soaking it in. We're just like we're just basking in the glory. I've been in I've been in meetings before. The whole meeting for 30 minutes. Nobody moved. Nobody said anything on the stage. Who are just all soaking in divine presence. Just soaking in divine presence. Like, someone says, what's going on? And guess what? When someone enters the meeting, without telling them, they will just behave. Because the presence is palpable, tangible. It's right there. And everybody leaves that meeting, I'm like, wow, something happened to me. I may not have the words to describe it, but something happened to me. Because the Holy Spirit is the conveyor. Mary said, of God's presence, but not just presence, of God's power. Mary said, excuse me, how will I get pregnant? <laughs> Gabriel said, pregnant? He said, the power of the Holy Ghost shall what? Overshadow you. Another translation says, the Holy Ghost will envelope you. He will incubate you. Hey, he, he, you're, you're wondering, this is the problem, you're wondering, how will it happen? He said, the Holy Ghost will envelope you. will envelope you. It will incubate you. The reason why is that the Holy Spirit is a conveyor. What's conveyor? Is what is it? Is it is what transports? The Holy Spirit transports. Transport means it moves from here to there. Can I have the bag? Can I have the perfume also? This is what happens to the Holy Ghost. This is you. 
They said that your business cannot go far. Holy Ghost said, that's okay. <laughs> Mary said, how would I get better? Holy Ghost said, let me envelope you. Incubate you. <laughs> so you come into the Holy Ghost. So this is the stage one where you are. You can't get pregnant. You can't get the contract. You can't get the job. So you just relax in the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost said, let me do my work. He takes you. From couldn't get pregnant, carrying twins. <laughs> From having a business that could not expand more than 200,000 per month to having a business that is doing 80 million per year. And the thing is that they will not ask you how. That's why it's difficult to explain. Because you were never aware of how it happened. The same way Adam could not tell us if they took rib out of him or how women came because he was asleep. What happens is that the Holy Ghost says, come inside. Let me transport you. That's why when you see people that God has helped, when you tell them, how did he do it? They will give you principles. Though. They'll say, but reality, God bless me. Because there's always a gap that they cannot explain. That gap is called the transportation of the Holy Ghost. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That gap is the transportation of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost carries you. Uh, listen, uh, you've carried yourself for too long. It's time for God to carry you. How do you explain the testimony we have at next level? Someone, the tubes are blocked. Went back to the hospital. Same doctor said, <sighs> Would I say I didn't see what I saw before? The stools are blocked. Why? There has been a transportation. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what we're doing today. We are transporting you from where you are to where you need to be. Are you here today? We are transporting. Uh, we are transporting your finance. Uh, we are transporting your marriage. Uh, we are transporting your health from where you are to. Uh, uh, somebody say, I receive it. The thing with transportation is that when they say explain it, that's the problem. How do you explain what you were not involved in? The one that Zachariah said, not by power, not by might, by the transportation of the Holy Ghost. Ah, Pakaya. Someone says, ah, but I came with the two more. We will remove it. Ah, Palama. He said, I could not get pregnant. We will fix that one also. Then the business that was not growing will begin to grow. Hey, li listen, I want to prophesy about you today. Whatever was not working before now begins to work. Shani Savakapani Atalas. Samani Kura eating the Mambo Kotani Asha. Whatever was not working begins to work. Whatever was not working begins to work in the name of Jesus. Shout and receive it. Please have your seat. Why? It is the transportation of the Spirit. People will now say, ah, but all of us are doing the same thing. Why is it all different? Because all of us are doing the same thing, but who is transporting you? Because on the outside, it looks so seamless, but on the inside, there's spirit power, grace to move it there. You know, I'm, I, in the third service, I, I just came down and I said, I was going to pray for a lady, and I just said, Who is Antonia? I want to pray for you. Then the lady that I called said, oh, I'm the one that is Antonia. I, I, I was never able to peek that the person that the Lord was talking to me about was, her name was actually Antonia. Someone says, how do you know that? It was transmitted to me. I didn't have to know her before. It was a, trans it was a transportation from revelation. It is moved from the spirit realm. Ah. It's time to move from impossible <laughs> to what possible. <laughs> it's time to move <laughs> from prayer point. <laughs> this is prayer point to testimony. <laughs> hey, it's time to move from uh, I want to I have. Uh, I have. Uh, it's time to move from God 
can you please so God has done it the Bible says when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream somebody shout I receive it glory to God you know in between the third and fourth service just before I came pastor you brought someone he said pastor B just to let you know that NLP is causing mighty revival I said what do you mean he said look at this guy he just finished NYC he's about to he's was looking for a job and doing NLP he got an idea right now oh, yeah he got an idea he said pastor first of all he's bought a gift for you and I said he's looking for a job but the idea he got he makes 10 million now in six months he's made 10 million this is someone that father is not rich mother is not rich he is the one carrying himself how do you and i said is he going to look for a job again if in six months not that he made he saved 10 million god is going to give you testimony that will expose you You know some testimonies you can hide. But there are some testimonies you can't hide. How do you hide the fact that you are pregnant? How do you hide that one? How do you hide the fact that you are appointed a minister? Ha. Are you here? What does the Holy Spirit do? The transportation of the Spirit. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I you know the nice thing about the transference of the Holy Spirit? The longer you stay with the Holy Spirit, the more it rubs off on you. It rubs off on you. It rubs off on you. People just like, my God. Even people that are connected to you, there's a transportation. Just because they're connected. Because it's not rubbed off on you. It rubbed off on Elijah so mightily that when Elijah was dead, was in heaven. The power was in his body. Things are changing now. Let me tell you something. Things are changing big time. Big time. All of you that don't take your spiritual life seriously, I feel bad for you. Because all those boys you sing and the ladies you sing, they'll be rising faster. You will keep saying the country is harder. They, they are making it. They will be going faster. You see them getting married, excelling. And you say, how? In this same country. Because what was transporting others was economic policy but what is transporting them is holy ghost policy somebody say hallelujah yeah. please have your seat let's let, let me read the last verse so how so what does the holy ghost do in us philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Uh, you know let me tell you something the spirit of god said something to me as i got here he said tell them to start taking big steps many of you you need to start taking big steps in your business in your finance, big steps. Some of you, let me tell you something. You need to go and see the pastor and say, I want to become a leader in church. I want to be leading. So why? Because I'm, I want to develop capacity. Give me 15 people to lead. I want to lead this hell. Are, are you hearing me? Oh, they, they would have heard me on that side. Let me talk to them then. Are you hearing me? And someone said, why are you doing that? Because I'm preparing myself for the prepared place. Someone said, what do you mean? Because I once know someone that got a major breakthrough. In three months, he got fired. And the person that fired him said, you are not qualified for what they, what, what they employed you for. When he got it, it was grace. But he needed to do something to sustain it, but he couldn't sustain it. I'm telling you, many of you are going to move to managerial position. You have to start leading people. Start taking up responsibility to lead people. Some of you have to open your bank accounts. Because what is coming? All this uh, piggy bank cannot contain it. <laughs> You don't need piggy bank, you need lion bank. Lion, lion, elephants. Elephant bank, that's what you need. You will go to a cell and say, Can I join a cell? Can I lead? Because I'm developing. So if you have stopped serving, no, no, no. You need to expand your capacity by serving. After the service, find out you can get to a growth class. Go track class. So, how does the Holy Spirit, what's the role of the Holy Spirit in us? Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. Philippians 2 13. See what it says. One to go. Let's read. For what? It is God. That what? Walks in us. To do what? 
but to what? Will. And to do of his will. Did you notice that? God says, what does the Holy Ghost do in you? Holy Ghost makes you will. Most people don't realize that. Because when he says it is God, question, is it the Father? No. Because the Father does it in approachable light. No man can come to. Is it Jesus? No. Because Jesus Christ is in heaven on the right hand of God. Who is it? The Holy Spirit. How? What does he do? He says, when the Holy Ghost wants to bless you, it begins to walk on you both to will. How does it walk into will? I'll give you some examples. You just be going as a businessman and it will show you that, ah, but your office can be here. You will think it's a suggestion or you're telling yourself something. Meanwhile, the Holy Ghost has just opened the door. But because you are not taught, you will shut it down and lose the opportunity. And the thing is that if you just say, my office can be here, let me go for it. Once you go for it, another deal will just open up that will provide the phone for the office. But as soon as you shut it down, it will not go. I'll give you an example. You're coming to service. As you're coming, the Lord will just say, just obey the usher today. Don't argue. So as you're coming to service, usher say, sit right. Oh, yes. say, oh my God. You say, I don't want to sit down there. Sit me on the other plane because I want a good view of pastor. And, but you remember what the Holy Ghost said. He said, now sit right. And I say, I don't know. Maybe this is where I'll meet my husband. I said, now sit right. The boy next to you is 10 years younger than you are. You are 29. The boy is just 21. He said, oh. Is this why God should sit right? I haven't thought that maybe God has something planned. Listen to me. God makes sure you can't see his plan so that you only follow because of faith. Not because you understand. What you don't understand is that as that boy, as that boy service is going to, the boy is even disturbing you playing games during service. So you just kind of took interest. Because I just say, hey, what's wrong? You seem distracted. Are you okay? I must say, I'm going through depression. You know, it's my family. I don't know this kind of. And just you guys just came close. And you got to mentor him and become kind to him. So one of the days, the boy just said, okay, let me check you up on Saturday. And offer him to check you up. And his older brother brought him. And the older brother brought him. Now he's a single guy that's 35. And when they brought him there, you know, and you know, the brother has been telling the older brother about this girl that is very kind that they just stumbled in church. But I don't know who she is and none of those things. So the brother finally sees her. My God, she, oh Jesus, she's not just kind; she's also blessed. Praise God. <laughs> then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all the thing is asking me begins to tell the brother, "Tell me about this girl. Tell me about this. Tell me about this girl." And before you know it, one thing led to the other. Let's go for dinner. One day they they start dating. It all boils down to one thing: follow where the usher starts. And let me tell you something. Sometimes it's not what you hear. It says it's God that works to will. It's it's just be like a desire. You will just see pastor and understand that I wanted to give to pastor. And you don't understand that that will was a guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because most of us are used to the voice. Well, we're not used to what. Because the Holy Spirit is on you already. So everything has joined. There's a wheel. You just come to church and say, I should be part of the ushers. That's where I should be. And you don't understand that that wheel is the Holy Ghost prompting you. Prompting you. And many of us, because we don't follow the prompting, we're cut off. True life story. One of our leaders. He was by himself, jobless. Holy, he just felt hungry. He just felt, when he felt hungry, he just felt as if I should go to the restaurant and eat. That was the leading he felt on the inside. He went to the restaurant and eat. As he was eating, eating, the white guy on the next table just shouted, All oh, these Nigerians are the same! Bang the table. He walked across and said, What is happening? What's wrong? This and that and this and this. He explained that one of the top oil companies in Nigeria, that his brother was the chief procurement officer and he can get deals in hundreds of millions of naira. But his Nigerian partner is always messing up. So they got talking. Then when they're about to leave, he said, Patiwi, what do you do? So he told him. He said, that's the contract I have right now. He said, will you do it? He said, why not? When he finished that contract, he bought the first brand new Tierobaka. Not talking about Tierobaka in one deal. Why? It's God that works in us. But to will 
and to do. Do you know how you are destroying yourself because you're not following the, the, the will of the Holy Spirit? He told you to forgive your sister. He said, I will not forgive. I will not forgive. He said, be kind. I will not be kind. I will do whatever you want. Because you are waiting for your voice. He's in you to will. Is that not the same way he's telling you tight? Every month tight. He said, no, I will not tight. See, I have not tightened now. How much do you have in your account? You now have billions, right? No, you now have billions. Like, yeah, like ah! See, all my tight. I've now stored it. Ah! Put the tight and the untight. You can't find it. And you've not been tight in all around. And they say, tight. Some of you have told you, so is special seed. It's God that walks in you. But to we. He's told you, move your complaint to VI. He said, no, I like to lay. Sit down there. Sit down there. He's told you about relocation. No, I love Nigeria. Sit down there. You want to relocate? He says, stay. He said, Holy Ghost, if you like, stay. Me, I'm going. Moses said, if you would not go with us, we will go nowhere. This relationship you are in, what has he told you? You are dating by yourself. Keep dating. When your heart is broken, you will come and submit it again for plaster. I spoke to a single lady and I said, the Spirit of God said this to you. He said, Pastor, hey, this thing you said, eh? Every time I talk, the thing normally say I'm saying the wrong thing. She never realized that she with her mouth she was destroying her destiny. It works in you, but to will. But to will. He's not going to speak alone. We will. Sometimes you wake up like I'm fasting and praying from tomorrow. Someone says, him, is he willing? I want to ask you. As I've told you now, is it not is it not an instruction from the Holy Ghost? They are still waiting for that instruction. But if I say that the Holy Ghost says I should come and give you money, you will not wait for another instruction. As you're fasting tomorrow, you, you control yourself. We are praying tomorrow, 6 30 a.m. But to will. Someone says, I'm not a morning person. Who is a morning person? I'm a Holy Ghost person. So if you say night, it's night. If you say morning, it's morning. But it's willing. How many of you, do you know what sleep has taken from you? Do you know what food has taken from you? Ask Esau. Esau lost Betra because of food. Do you know, sometimes, sometimes you wake up and the Holy Ghost woke you up to pray. Next time you bring on Instagram. Hey! 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 Holy Ghost woke you up to pray. The next thing you do is Instagram. All the things you should receive at night, you Instagram them away. Even the one that's not contained, you'll not be checking posts you've checked before. You'll be checking comments. You'll be reading DM that you have read before. You'll not be laughing at yourself and laughing at other people. And meanwhile, this is when the angels are releasing blessing. There's decision made in high places concerning your application. Holy Ghost has said, oh yeah, pray. You'll be checking. <laughs> Next thing. God, ready for me. God, ready for me. God, ready for me. God, why did you hear you? And I call you. Yeah. I do add up the every day, every day, every day. Let's pray. <laughs> Businessmen, listen. Career executive, listen. Married men, listen. Married women, listen. Mothers, father, listen. It works in you, but to will. And to do of his good pleasure. We're going to pray intensely in tongues for the next three minutes. Let's our uh, pastor, Pastor Dami, you go ahead and get the microphone. Let them lead us in prayer. Mata Lego Shabala Badi Hata Jani Koradia Sebasa Di Jijon. Join join them. That's why we let them lead us in praying in tongues. Oh Rabahasha, lift up your hands towards heaven. Ha Apata Namakume Shavakata Lemon Bruko to Sibrahalaba. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and pray the Holy Ghost. Apanamash. 
thank you Jesus In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. And I know you are here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And there shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of God. Leave out of Radikosh. There shall be seasons refreshed. From the Savior. Everybody lift up your voice. Yes. The holy Showers of blessings. Was so Just play strong part, bright. Zelena, no, 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 no. Zilate, I told you the power of God is going to flow. Ushers, just help me with those people. Lakana mashila mataye. Spirit of God. Zinata kila batanash. Radikapan, in this auditorium, in the extensions. Anywhere they are touched, anywhere they are. Let your power begin to flow. Let your power begin to flow. Touch in the name of Jesus. Let Sufek reach the Tamba Katania. Shakisa Sinante Laguta. Raik Patanda Kuna Savali Kapayesh. Empali Sova. Yes. Emono Sivrit Katanash. Amen. Let me tell you the first thing I see in the spirits. What I see in the spirits is activations. What's activations? They are gifts of the spirit that will be lit up. Just, just, be, just, just be stirred up like that. Just be stirred up. No, just be gift of the spirit that will be stirred up. There are many of you that flowed in the gift of the spirit before, but it failed. Or it, 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 it maybe failed, it just stopped flowing. This moment. You're gonna say it just flow. Oh, there are dozens of people I see in the spirit. I see ten people specifically, but there are dozens of people that will go to flow, flow into it. Are you ready? When I pray, the power will touch you anywhere you are. Lord, we're asking for activations, activation of the gift of the spirit. Holy Spirit, touch now. Yes, those people I'm talking about, the power of God will come upon you mightily. Touch now. Yes, touch now at the front, in the back, in the middle, in the auditorium. Touch now. Yes. 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 
Yes. Let Lucifer go, man, he had a carido shavata. Let Nico Shadilla Matabaradi his heart. My borrow to con the leader season, the Matahila. Numbrukata Shadilla Macapata. Amrikatona mess of Rakada. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silver Lodosha Valis. Silver Lodosha Valis. How many of you are feeling that trembling of the Holy Spirit on your. You just feel that trembling. Your body, your hands is trembling. Wave your hands, let me see. You feel it. You feel that trembling of the Holy Spirit. You feel it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Aha. Shavela Namakura di Visapatata. Yes, hey, Shatina Rakitaina Nanasava Silute Tech, 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 Shata, Pulentakata, Sinente. Yes, 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 all over. Let them be fresh impartation. Taina Kapata. I got the getting the ticket 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 Yes, over the Kiva Masafa Latani. Oh, run the cash of it. They want to have a Hallelujah. Move, stay out of my way. Quiet, join your hands together. Quiet, join your hands together. Zila Barada Barada Bayish. Oh, man, Tali, the Siva Yahis. When I release anointing, whatever you desire will happen. The doors you couldn't open, my God. Ushers are wanting to be behind them. And make sure the ushers also hold themselves so that they don't find themselves rolling under the chair. Rahasa kataya bahash. Yabaku sila matabaya. Courage, just lift up your hands to what happened. The mighty power of the Holy Ghost. All the choir members say, I receive a fresh feeling of the Spirit of God. Even right now, touch in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I bring you the finish of the spirit. Ah,
Hora nikuli mashagali. Velo dovo shade yanish. I'm going to pray for those that have just help her, just help her. You don't have to help them stand. You can just put them on the floor. Ushers, just remember you can put them on the floor. Yeah, yeah, on on a chair, whatever is comfortable, because some of them will not be able to stand for a while. I'm going to pray for those that have very 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 complicated health conditions i'm going to pray for all the business people and i'm going to pray for people that just feel stuck either when it comes to relationship or they just feel stuck when it comes to life i'm going to pray in a moment it's not that right now Oh Lord Jesus. How many of you sense such a strong presence in this place? And hallelujah. Thank you for your presence. 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 The Spirit of God says to you, this is a season for you to take big steps. Don't be afraid. Don't worry about the resources. He said, Father, I've called you. He said, I've called you. He said, I've called you. I'll support you. Give me your hands. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh my God. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Koradi Shavadasis. Amanda Koshish. Gizonish Kozis. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's so much power of the Holy Spirit in this place. Such a strong presence of God. Such a strong presence of God. It, it, 
oh Jesus and I'm literally feeling like jolts of electricity going through my body yeah thank you Lord playing the keyboard will you just sit if you can if you can if you can't it's okay sit if you can sit if you can I want to pray for people that have very terminal sicknesses maybe they say there's something wrong with your womb maybe it's cancer things like that I want you to stand other people can just sit please if you can yeah. terminal sicknesses will you stand thank you Jesus Pastor, do you bring that brother behind you? Come. I just sense the glory of God on you. Come. I just sense the glory of God on you. Oh, lift up your hands. Father, thank you. Oh, brother, the field. Yeah. So, name on Brokoto, Shet, Lebeke, the Lebeku, name as Susi. Le mando koshe bebis. Le ma kabalish. Le brade koshe pele ba kore ne ma sata. Le ma te hesu brade shu ba hata. All of you that are standing, if you don't mind, can you come out, please? All of you that are standing here. Not, not all of everyone are standing. You're standing because of the medical thing. Yeah. Now just come. If you're also trying to get pregnant and you can get pregnant, come. Please don't come out saying you're standing in the gap for somebody else. There's another time for that. Okay, I'm going to ask you to go back to your seats because people that were not standing are joining them. If you were not standing before, please don't join them. Okay, that's fine. Everybody so that nobody joins again, right? Nobody joins again, right? That's good. Ushers, nobody joins again, right? Okay, that's good. You hear what I said? Nobody joins again. All right. Yeah, so nobody joins again. Yeah. Say, Father, better bush. Thank you, Lauren. Lady, why are you crying?
Thank you, Jesus. You can go to your seat, sister. All the pastors that join me on the next level, will you come to, will you take your positions because I've kind of taught you how to minister to people. So will you go ahead and minister to them? And all of you that are here, it's a touch of faith. Please don't stand behind someone so nobody gets to follow another person. Just stay by the sides. And once the set is gone, you can, you know, you can, yeah. Just stay by the sides. Yeah. Yeah. So don't, don't, don't. All right, so let's go ahead and pray. We have about four minutes for that. An awesome God, how great the world. If, if it's a couple believing for a child, the husband and wife should stay together. My dear, your miracles will stand. Of your whole Lord, we bow. Thank you, Jesus. Um, he has loose down in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose, yes. Thou spirit of infirmity, loose her now. Now. And Hallelujah. All right. So, if you've been prayed for, and you can go to your seat. If you have been prayed for, please go. Then let, let's have half of the ushers. I have a lot of ushers here. Just on half of them. Thank you, ushers. You're doing a fantastic job. I want half of them. Yeah. I don't. I don't want six. Just six of the ushers. Just six. Thank you, Jesus. Have we prayed for everybody? Everybody that's not prayed for should come towards here. Everybody's been prayed for. All right. 
Awesome. Okay. You're not being prayed for. Okay. So, Pastor Dijela, there's, there's a brother here. Yeah. All of you that were ministered to, the miracle has happened. Yeah. 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 I'm receiving your testimony as soon as tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Everyone that feels stuck, either when it comes to your life, business, relationship, you're delayed, will you stand to your feet? And right now, everything that's bust you, delay, stagnation, and barrier from moving forward, I command it to be broken. From this moment, go forward. Every basis that's not doing well begins to do well. Everyone that's behind when it comes to relationship and marriage, it's broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout it, I am going forward. I am going forward. The second time. I am going forward. The third time. I am going forward. Glory to God. God bless you, you can have your sins. From this moment, from blessings to blessings, grace to grace. Increase to increase. In Jesus' name. Amen.